Welcome to BMC's Control-M Workload Archiving Overview video. In this video, you will become familiar with workload archiving, how to set it up, and how to view archive information in the Control-M client and self-service web application. Many organizations need to access job output and log information for jobs that ran in the past weeks, months, or years. This could be for troubleshooting issues, auditing issues, or for compliance or analysis reasons. Searching for this information can be challenging if a team member doesn't have the correct permissions, or if job information is only saved for a short period of time. Using workload archiving, control and production team members or application developers can view archived job information quickly and easily. Both distributed and mainframe system information is archived automatically and kept in one central location that is separate from the production environment. Keeping the archived information on a separate server enables you to free up space on agents and have it available for a long period of time. First, Let's take a quick look at how you configure workload archiving settings. From the Control-M Configuration Manager, you open the Archiving Settings. In the Archiving Policy Settings, you define rules for archiving jobs. For instance, you can define a rule to archive jobs that end OK from a specific Control-M server, application, sub-application, or folder. Here you select the length of time to archive these jobs and the type of data to archive. Data can be archived for a few years. You can also set the maximum size of the output file. In the Advanced Configuration settings, you set the disk space allocation on the dedicated server and the time period for clearing archived data. Now, Let's see how to view archive data in the Control-M client. There are two ways that you can view archive job information, from the monitoring domain or from the history domain. First, let's look at the monitoring domain. Viewing archive information from the monitoring domain is helpful when you are looking at a job flow and need to troubleshoot an issue with a specific job. To find out what happened when a specific job was run in the past, you right-click the job, select More Analysis Windows, and then Archive Search. A tab in the History domain opens, and the archived information for the job appears. By default, all job statuses for the job appear. If you want to view only the jobs that have a status of Ended OK or Ended Not OK, you can select the status that you want from the Job Status field. When you select a job, you can see information about the job on the right side of the screen. To view job log or output information, click the relevant tab. If you want to compare two different runs of the same job, select both runs, click Compare, and then select either Log or Output. Differences in the job's past runs are indicated by color. There are some other actions that you can perform in the Archive Search tab, and we'll talk about these in a moment. Now let's take a look at the History domain. Let's assume that you are not looking at a specific job flow. Instead, an auditor wants to analyze jobs from a certain period of time or jobs that meet certain criteria. For example, all jobs that contain the letters HR. To locate these jobs, you open the History domain and click Archive Search. To view all jobs that contain the letters HR, you enter HR in the text field, select Job Name, and click Search. If you want to get very specific with your search, click the Advanced button. Here you can choose specific information for each entity, such as searching for text in the output file or jobs that ran between a specific time period. Using Export, you can save your search results as an Excel file. 
The Excel file contains the information that you see in the Archive Search tab. To save job information as a text file, you select the job or multiple jobs, click Save, and then select the information that you want to save. If you want to perform a new search, click the New button. A new Archive Search tab opens. Last, let's see how you can perform an archive search in the self-service web application. You perform an archive search in self-service similar to how it's done in the monitoring domain from the jobs in a service. First, you open a service. Next, you either locate a specific job to view archive information about that job or select any job to perform a broader search. Once you have located the job that you want, right-click and select Archive Search. An Archive Search tab opens and you can perform the search and filtering actions that we talked about earlier. Let's summarize what we learned in this video. Workload archiving enables you to easily save job output and log information for both distributed and mainframe systems in an easily accessible central location. Using the Control-M Configuration Manager, you configure the type of data that you want to archive, how long it's stored for, how much space it takes up on the server, and other settings. You can view archived job information from the monitoring domain when looking at a job flow, the history domain by filtering for the specific information that you want to see, and last from self-service when you open a service. Thank you for watching this video. To find out more information about workload archiving, go to the Control-M Workload Automation Online Help.